Hey, welcome to another installment of Juve Travels. This time I'm traveling home from work. It's Saturday, the 5th of uh, March, and I am heading home. I had a 12 hour day today, and that's part of what I do for a living. And I am. Uh, Monday's gonna be two weeks from my last day of work before I go on vacation, so I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm gonna keep this video short since um, the uh, YouTube channel for Hoover Travels is new. I can't post long videos. I did a video for you guys earlier today, and I tried to upload it, and it got kicked back because it's a long video. So I'm gonna touch on a couple of things right quick. Um, so a trip's coming up in uh, in a couple of weeks. So I, I gotta start, like today, I really gotta start working on packing and getting stuff ready. Um, that way I'm not forgetting anything um, on my way uh, when I go on my trip, as has happened before. That it's like never fails something, like something you know that I'm supposed to take, I forget. So I gotta make sure that all my uh, my tablets that I'm gonna be taking on the plane are, are fully charged, uh, that everything that I want on them, entertainment wise, is uh, loaded. I loaded them a while back, but I think there's a couple of more things I wanna add to them. So I gotta do that. Uh, make sure my external hard drive that I'm gonna be using for long-term storage of all the videos I'm gonna be taking, uh, making sure that I have enough room on there. Uh, I also got to make sure that uh, I take a three to two prong adapter. For those of you who don't know, uh, uh, if you go to Japan, there's no three prong uh, connectors over there. They don't do the, the grounding thing that we do here in the States. So all their uh, electronic devices have uh, two prong, just regular two prong. So if you take a laptop that has a three prong on there, unless you are willing to take that grounding third prong off uh, by a uh, three to two prong adapter. If you forget it, you can always go to Akiva, buy it for about 100 yen and uh, one of the um, uh, little stores there. Uh, but uh, last time I, when I went and forgot them was a couple of years ago, I bought a couple there and I still have them. So I'm gonna, I gotta make sure I throw those in there. Also, um, let's see, um, I made a mention recently, uh, I made a post about uh, traveling insurance and uh, the, the type of uh, travel insurance I'm talking about is not the, uh, the whole, uh, you know, if you die, you get insurance, if uh, there's an earthquake, you get insurance, uh, although that, that is included with this one, that's why this is such, such a good deal. Uh, a lot of people go on vacation. Uh, domestically like here in the United States whenever you go on vacation you really don't think about getting medical insurance because you very likely already have medical insurance through your employer uh, or if you're a veteran like myself and registered if you're a veteran register at the VA so you get your uh, medical benefits by the way take your DD-214 that's what I have so whenever I travel uh, here in the States I usually don't think about that because I have coverage. I have health insurance that I can use if I'm traveling anywhere here. I just gotta, gotta go to a VA facility. Uh, and if not, there's a card that I can use to go to a regular facility and I get treatment. Uh, but when you travel internationally, what if you get sick? What if you get hurt? What if there's an accident? What if, what if someone punches you and uh, breaks your nose? You know, uh, things like that, uh, you know, let's hope doesn't happen, but Anything can happen when you're on vacation, especially if you get sick. You don't want to be there and be ill and and try to wait it out in your hotel room and end up spending the most of, of the time you're there on vacation sick. Uh, so there are some uh, uh, providers out there for uh, international insurance, for medical insurance. The nice thing is that to these medical insurances, you can add other things like uh, traveling protection. If your flight gets canceled or if you miss your flight, it covers you and stuff like that. <clears throat> Usually if you just get regular travel 
it doesn't cover your medical bills. But if you get medical, international medical coverage, it covers the other stuff. So that's something very important to look at. Uh, also be careful when you're looking at them because some of those medical insurances require you to pay for all medical expenses out front and then they reimburse you when you come back. And if it ends up costing you your entire vacation budget, what's the point? There are some insurances out there that will cover your expenses, your medical expenses as they happen. So make sure you're, you uh, you search wisely and carefully for the right insurance for you for your travels. Make sure it covers your country uh, that you're visiting and that there is a provider in your city. Um, there's a couple that I'm gonna be posting on my website that I've used in the past. Uh, thankfully, I never had to use them. But if ever I had, uh, they covered the expenses. One had a small deductible. It was like a $10 uh, deductible uh, paid out front. And uh, the other one actually had no deductible. So uh, some of them changed throughout the years. Uh, I know the one with the deductible, they no longer cover you uh, on the spot. They actually, they, uh, they started doing the whole pay out front and then when you get back home will reimburse your medical expenses which again defeats the purpose of having medical insurance when you're on vacation because then you're blowing your entire budget from your vacation on on medical bills so guys uh, thanks for watching thanks for listening uh, I hope that your travels are, are fun safe and uh, come back for uh, more videos and more posts here at uh, check out the website by the way it's uh, hubatravels.weebly.com Huba Travels at Wibbly.com. Uh, like us on Facebook, just look for Huba Travels. And follow us on Twitter at Huve underscore travels.